Automotive batteries and batteries used in sport utility vehicles can be pretty expensive, but they can provide years of reliable performance if you treat them right. Unfortunately, a lot of batteries die young, and some of the major reasons why batteries die young is because they are deep discharged. Lead acid type batteries work well for automotive starting applications where you put a heavy load on the battery for a few seconds and then the battery is immediately completely recharged. But if you put a load in the battery and deeply discharge the battery, that's really rough on the battery chemistry. Now there are some lead acid batteries designed for deep discharge, but they're still lead acid batteries and that kind of battery chemistry is not ideal in that application. Uh, lithium ion would probably be a better choice. The other thing that really hurts the longevity of automotive or sport utility batteries is allowing the battery to sit around for a long period of time in a discharged state. So if you use your vehicle on a regular basis, hey, no problem. But when you park your motorcycle for the winter or the lawn tractor, or you have a car that you don't use very often, the battery can sit in a depleted state and the battery chemistry can cause a layer to form on the plates inside of the battery that is non-conductive and can be difficult to reverse. And that saps the energy of the battery. And so the key to battery longevity is to not do deep discharge cycles and to keep them fully charged all the time. And keeping them fully charged all the time is uh, one of the reasons why I think it's a good idea to have a battery charger to help you maintain your batteries. Not too long ago, I did a video detailing the repair of a high-powered manual battery charger. And that device works great. And it's good for jump-starting vehicles or blasting energy into a battery in order to get some charge into it to get a vehicle quickly running. But that's not the kind of tool that I would normally grab for fully charging or maintaining batteries. That's something of a brute force tool. For maintaining and fully charging batteries, I like to use an automatic battery charger, an intelligent charger that monitors the battery condition and gently charges the battery up to full charge. And when full charge is achieved, the battery charger backs off and shuts off or goes into a trickle charge maintenance mode. I've been using a battery charger made by Bacchus Global for quite some time, and I wasn't super happy with it. And then I became less happy with it when the front panel control stopped working. And because of that, I thought I need a new battery charger. And I didn't want to mess around. This time I wanted to get one that was really good. And so I start shopping for a replacement smart battery charger. And I'm willing to spend some money on this in order to get a good product. And so I found one that I think, I thought, was a pretty good product for well over $100. And made that purchase. And that is a good battery charger. But as I was doing that shopping, I came across this one in the listings, this Yonhan 10 amp charger. And this charger sells for less than $30. I think I paid less than 25 for it. And it had great reviews. And it's a little thing. It uh, has some short leads on it, which eh, don't look that impressive. And I was really skeptical. I thought, how good can this really be? But for such a low price, well, I can always use an extra battery charger to maintain the motorcycle or the lawn tractor or something. So, uh, take a gamble. Well, this thing's mighty impressive. It works amazingly well. It is a computer-controlled multi-stage battery charger that does a fantastic job of charging up your 12 volt or 24 volt utility or vehicle batteries. And um, it also has a recovery mode, which can recover batteries that haven't been used for a while and increase their capacity, which actually works on some of the batteries I've tested it on. 
I've used it for charging a semi truck and its batteries. That took a little while, but it worked fine. And so this is a great device. Now, this is not a starter. This is not a jump starter for a vehicle. It's a battery charger and it charges at 10 amps, which is a moderate pace for charging batteries. Now, as 10 amp chargers go, this charges faster than I would have anticipated. But for a typical car battery that's a bit discharged that needs to be topped off, I think it would take three to four hours to charge up. If the battery is deeply discharged or it's a big truck battery that has large capacity that needs to be recharged, it might take a day or a little more than a day to do a job like that. But generally it works pretty rapidly and it's very effective and it charges all kinds of different batteries. So I'll take a closer look at it here and I'll show you the various features that this Yonhan 10 amp battery charger has. So let's talk about what's so great about this Yonhan battery charger. Obviously at the price, at this super low price point, if this charger extends the life of an expensive battery, it more than pays for itself. It's a smart charger that does 12 and 24 volt battery systems. It automatically detects what charging voltage to use. It has an internal temperature sensor, so it knows if it's summertime or wintertime. And during the winter, it automatically boosts the charge a little bit to compensate for the cold temperatures. It is able to charge all types of lead-acid batteries, from big batteries and small batteries, wet cell batteries, AGM batteries, gel cell batteries, and so forth. It provides a maintenance mode, so you can apply this to a motorcycle battery or a sports piece of equipment and just let it hang on the battery all winter long and it will maintain the battery at a full charge. And it's a really intelligence maintenance mode in that it doesn't just continuously apply a little trickle of energy like a lot of dumb chargers do. This one will actually do a proper charge cycle and then pause and shut itself down and monitor the battery voltage until the battery voltage comes down to a set point where the battery needs a top off charge and then it does another proper cycle. So by going through these charge cycles in maintenance mode it treats the battery better than the old fashioned maintenance chargers. It is a smart charger so it charges the battery and then stops and doesn't overcharge the battery but it's more than that. A lot of typical smart chargers just apply a standard charge to the battery until the battery voltage reaches a proper set point and then they stop. But this one is microprocessor controlled and goes through a whole series of different types of battery charges to completely and fully restore the battery operation. So it does pulse charging followed by continuous current charging, continuous voltage charging, a float charge, a recovery charge, and so forth. It's a seven-step charging process that has the effect of rejuvenating the battery chemistry and getting your batteries in a completely, fully, tip-top charged state and recovers the maximum amount of battery capacity possible. This unit also has a pulse recovery repair mode where it can blast pulses of energy into the battery to wake up the battery chemistry and rejuvenate the battery. Now, some batteries are so far gone that they just cannot be recovered. But I've had a couple of batteries here that I thought were complete goners that the pulse repair mode actually worked on. And it was able to recover those batteries and get them back to what evidently seems like perfectly usable working condition again. I was surprised. It's a 10 amp charger at 12 volts, 5 amps at 24 volts, and that's not a massively large charger, but it does charge the batteries fairly rapidly in a relatively short period of time, and it charges batteries faster than I would expect a 10 amp charger to do so. So I think it works really well, and a 10 amp charge is a nice moderate decent charge rate that won't damage your batteries but yet on the other hand won't take forever to get them charged so i think it's a good size for most people so let's take a little closer look at this unit and i'll um, show you its operation it's super simple to operate 
Here's a little closer look at the charger. It's super easy to operate. There's only one control on the panel, which is this touch control right here that selects the type of battery you wish to charge, or if you want to select a maintenance or repair mode. The unit has a memory in it, so it will come up in the same mode that you used it in in the previous session, so that's convenient. The mode that the unit is in is indicated by these lights right along the bottom down here, and there is a large LCD display which indicates the battery voltage, the amount of current being delivered, and the ambient temperature, so the unit knows if it should be doing a winter charge or a summer charge. You'll notice that there's a chart printed right here which depicts the different charging modes that it steps through in a charging cycle where the top line indicates the voltage and the bottom line indicates the current being delivered. And so it just gives you a pictorial representation of the seven step charging process that this unit goes through. There's a small fan on this end of the unit that keeps it cool while it's operating. And the power cord is over here. And on this side of the unit, there's a relatively short but decent pair of battery connector clips and its cable. My advice is to connect this unit to the battery before plugging it in. And that way you get a voltage indication on the display of the resting battery voltage, which gives you an indication as to how discharged that battery is. So let's hook it up. So when we connect the battery, it tells us what the current battery voltage is, and it will cycle between that and the current ambient temperature. If you have those connections reversed, where the positive lead from the charger is on the negative post of the battery, the display will not turn on. So if the display doesn't turn on, that's an indication that maybe you have those leads reversed, or that your battery is really severely dead. If the unit is plugged in when you attach it to the battery and the connections are reversed on the battery, you'll get an error message. I'm going to plug the unit in at this point and we'll begin a charging cycle. You can hear the small fan turn on as the unit begins operating, and it says DFS on the display for desulfate, which is a pulse charge method to apply a bunch of pulses into the battery at high current, which helps wake up the battery chemistry. It will stay in this state for about five minutes when it begins the charging cycle to prepare the battery to best take a charge. You'll see a bar graph display right over here, which shows the current state of battery charge. And so it's going to sit in this state for about five minutes until the desulfate mode completes, and then it will begin the rest of the battery charge. The mode selector switch allows you to choose what type of battery you wish to charge or the operation you wish to do, indicated by the lights along the bottom. The first mode, the first light, is for standard automotive battery use. The second mode is for batteries that are of gel cell or AGM types. They have a slightly lower resting voltage than a wet cell battery. The next mode over is for charging smaller batteries, such as from lawn tractors, sports equipment, and so on. The fourth mode is called motorcycle mode for charging motorcycle batteries, but I would call it maintenance mode. It can really be used to charge any battery, but in a maintenance mode fashion, which is it does a standard battery charge operation like any of the other modes. But when the charge is complete, this unit will say full on the display and then eventually it will say off, just like it does with all the other modes. But even though the 
display is saying off, the unit continues to monitor the battery voltage. And when the battery voltage dips down, the unit decides that it's time to top it off again and it will restart and do another charge cycle. And so motorcycle mode or maintenance mode is the mode that you'd want to be on if you connected this to a battery that was in storage over the winter or for a long period of time and it will automatically charge as needed to keep that battery in tip-top condition. And the final mode is a repair mode and it says PUL for pulse repair and in this mode it is applying a series of high energy pulses into the battery to help rejuvenate the battery chemistry. It does this automatically during the other charge modes for the first few minutes to get things woken up and ready for a charge. But if you have a battery that's been neglected and needs to be recovered, you can put it into pulse mode and let it sit in this mode for a few hours, maybe as much as a day, to try to shake that chemistry back to life. Operation is really simple. The unit remembers the last charging mode it was in and so most of the time you can probably just connect it to your battery and plug it in and be good to go. After your charge cycle is complete, the display will indicate full and you'll see the bar graph showing that the battery charge state is completely full. After a while of this, the unit will also then switch to off mode where the display will show off and the unit will be resting. My takeaway is having a smart battery charger like this is a good tool to have to protect your expensive investment in batteries. Now, of course, there's lots of good battery chargers in the market. I just think that this one represents particularly good value. Not a sponsored video, just a product that I acquired that I think works really well. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in this product. Now, like I say, it's not a sponsored video, but as an Amazon associate, I do make a small referral commission if you purchase through those links, and I appreciate it and there's no additional charge to you. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to give a thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. If you find the channel interesting and want to subscribe, that would be great too, and it'll help you find this content more easily in the future. So thanks for stopping by, watching the video, and I hope to catch you again soon.